Welcome back. Today I'm reviewing the brand new cigar from Monte Cristo, a new cigar from Monte Cristo. This is the Espada. And the unique thing about this cigar, besides how many bands you see, is it's all Nicaraguan. Everyone is coming to grips with how important the tobacco from Nicaragua is. Oh, so the folks with Monte Cristo and Altadas have created the Espada. Espada means sword in Spanish, by the way. Now this uh, this cigar is actually made in conjunction with uh, Nestor, Nestor Placencia's uh, factory uh, and a collaboration between Placencia and the Altadas blending team known as Grupos de Maestros. This cigar, again, is all Nicaraguan. It features a uh, Habano wrapper. The binder is from Jalapa. And uh, the filler is from Jalapa, Ometepe, and Candega, all Nicaraguan. So you'll notice on this cigar we have three, count them, three bands. The uh, top band, of course, is your basic band with the word Espada. Below that is a certificate type band and the word Espada at the foot. I have had three, uh, two of these cigars previously, and I can tell you from that experience, I make no guarantees that I can take this band off right here without it tearing. I will try. So, that being said, uh, it's a very light brown shade of wrapper, but it is, of course, well made. Um, there is your density. And without further ado, let's try out the Espada Guard. 6x50, Espada, Monte Cristo, Espada, Guard. The size is Guard. It also comes in two other sizes, by the way. Um, the Ricasso, which is 5x54, and the Kion, Q-U-I-L-L-O-N, Kion, 7x56. Retail price 11 and a quarter to 12.50 each. Today we are reviewing the Guard. 6x50. Now, as I told you previously, these bands can be a little tricky. As a matter of fact, uh, I haven't successfully removed this band yet. Now, the foot should be a little easier. The thing is so worrisome when you're removing these bands is that they could tear the wrapper. So I'm gonna try to slide that off. Well. Okay, I'll try to work on that and get it where you can see it. A little later and this band I'm also going to it's not ideal folks but uh, there we go it doesn't appear to have hurt the wrapper anywhere so this is what we're left with okay so now what we all came here for was to smoke the cigar Nice draw, just a touch of firmness. Just a touch of firmness, not bad. The first flavors I'm getting are sort of a semi-sweet, semi-bitter grapefruit citrus. It has a little sweetness to it and it's uh, followed quickly by some cream notes and a lot of dry wood notes. And that's really what I have on the front end. There's a decent amount of what I'll call white pepper at around a seven. Um, cigar is coming across as a uh, medium bodied at this point, uh, maybe mild to medium even. Um, has a lot of typical Nicaraguan flavor. 
but uh, many more of the dry wood notes than I'm used to in a Nicaraguan cigar. So that would be the main difference at this point. But we'll see where we go from here. The Espada is starting out with, uh, again, a lot of grapefruit notes. Some has some sweetness to it, has some bitterness to it. inch and a quarter in and the cigar has definitely picked up in sweetness it's more along the lines of an orange citrus now it's really well the sweet notes of orange citrus or some of you may think of it as cedar actually because the point is they are overwhelmed by the massive amounts of dry wood and roasted nuts uh, there's quite a bit of dry wood and now roasted nuts, dry, ro dry roasted nuts that are um, directly attached to the sweet notes. And to be honest with you, at times they, it tastes a little like a very sweet cedar, and at times it tastes like a very sweet orange citrus. As, as funny as that sounds, it, it fluctuates a little bit because of the heavy wood and nut flavors. The cream notes are still sort of there, which tone down either the citrus or the cedar, so that it makes it even harder to tell what it is. Bottom line is you've got a lot of roasted nuts, a lot of dry wood notes here. The pepper is still good. Finish is really actually the easiest thing to pin down. It is a very sweet cream with very little lingering pepper, just a touch. Um, I would Definitely call it a cigar medium. And uh, that's where we are at about an inch, inch and a quarter. About two and a half inches in, and the sweetness has really picked up even yet more. I'm going with a very sweet cedar now, okay? But there are some nutmeg notes attached to it, light cream, tons of dry wood, and roasted nut flavors. But the sweet cedar and nutmeg is holding its own, if not a little ahead of the dry wood and roasted nuts now. If you remember back at the beginning, it was very opposite. They were, the dry wood and the roasted nuts were overwhelming. Now they're more in line, if not just a tick below the sweet cedar. So uh, that's where we are. Definitely the sweetest the cigar has been so far. In my opinion, the best cigar has been so far. So it takes a while to ramp up, okay? Bear that in mind when you have it. But it has made a nice transition to a very nice point. Well, I'm down to the band, probably about two inches remaining. And the sweet cedar is quite nice. It's uh, still at a nice elevated level. I have lost the nutmeg notes and the cream notes. The dry wood and now particularly the roasted nut flavors are still very elevated. Um, the cigar comes across as far as how the body of the cigar is as medium, maybe medium to full at this point, but it has a very sneaky Lahiro even though the cigar doesn't really feel, taste any heavier than medium to medium to full, the Lahiro is starting to kick in and you can feel the Lahiro effects. You can feel that power of the Lahiro. And normally uh, the taste of the cigar and the power go hand in hand from what I've found. But in this case, it doesn't in this cigar. <clears throat> it, it tastes one way, and at this point, you start to feel another way. So uh, keep that in mind when you have the cigar. Um, definitely a lot of elevated Lahiro at this point. Well, we are down to the end, so let's wrap it up. Cigar ended with the nice cedar notes, a lot of sweetness, a lot of roasted nut flavors. Um, still have that sneaky Lahiro. You can feel the Lahiro even now as I speak to you. 
the you hear people speak of uh, La Hero Buds. It's sort of a little bit of that going on here. Cigar taste like it's medium to full, but the La Hero puts it over the top. It's a, uh, definitely a full bodied cigar as far as the effects. Finish really didn't change much, still sweet cream. A little bit of lingering pepper. It might have ticked up a little bit there in the lingering pepper department. Um, as with any Monte Cristo cigar, I urge you to try it. See for yourself. See what you think. Uh, been a good cigar, but it, it, it started out, it definitely ended better than it started, but uh, it fell short in a few places. Um, so in all, all in all, you're going to have to try it for yourself, and I urge you to do that. For me, it wraps up as an 88. Uh, good cigar, but uh, fell short in a, little, a couple of places. But uh, the La Hero, if you like a La Hero, a strong La Hero, this is one you ought to try. So there you have it, the Monte Cristo Espada Guard. Mm -hmm.